Hey there. Dealing with stress and those moments of sadness creeping in? We've all been there, am I right? Now get this. Dr. Daniela Koffer, an associate professor of integrative biology at the University of California, says stress can actually boost your awareness and cognitive performance. Wild, huh? But here's the catch. Prolonged stress can seriously mess with your physical and mental well-being. That's why we're breaking down six major red flags that your mental health might be in jeopardy. First up, constant worrying. Are you always tense and fretting over things you can't control? If you're stressing way more than usual, there's a good chance your mental state is taking a hit. Excessive anxiety can straight up disrupt your life. Constant worry and fear can strain your relationships, work life, and even zap your motivation. The second sign, feeling overwhelmed by guilt or worthlessness. Do you feel like a failure? Like every bad thing in your life is your fault? Persistent feelings of guilt and worthlessness are early signs of depression. Maybe your parents are piling on unrealistic expectations, or your so-called friends are making you feel crappy about yourself. Situations like these can seriously mess with your psyche and self-esteem. Third, having trouble adapting to home or work environments. Did you go through a traumatic event that's preventing you from getting back into your usual groove? Tragedies like losing a loved one or surviving a natural disaster can take an extreme toll on your mental state. Jeremy McAllister, a practitioner of the Hakomi Experimental Psychotherapy, says trauma majorly disrupts your normal energy levels. They can either plummet or skyrocket. It's hard to resume your regular life when your body is accustomed to these abnormal energy fluctuations. Fourth, isolating yourself from others. When's the last time you hung out with family or friends? If you're actively avoiding people, that's a major red flag for your mental health. Maybe you're feeling ashamed or depressed, and you want to shut everyone out while you sort through your thoughts and emotions. Sometimes, a little alone time is perfectly normal. But if you realize the isolation has gone on for too long, push yourself to reconnect with your crew. Prolonged loneliness can lead to a deep, dark place. Fifth up, unhealthy habits on the rise. Have you been drinking more booze or using substances lately? This is one of the biggest indicators that your mental state is struggling. Turning to alcohol or drugs as an escape from reality can open up a massive can of worms. You might think they're helping you cope with pain and problems, but they'll only drag down your physical and mental health, not to mention your motivation. They mess with your mood and distort your perception of reality. And finally, the sixth and most serious signed suicidal thoughts. If you've been having thoughts of ending your life recently, that's a glaring signal that your mental health is in crisis mode. No matter what's causing those thoughts, remember this. There are so many people who want to help you. You don't have to carry that burden of despair alone. If you're having those kinds of thoughts, call a hotline or speak to a professional ASAP. Recognize any of these signs in yourself or a loved one? Share your thoughts down below. Remember, your mental well-being matters immensely. Your feelings are valid. Please, reach out to a family member, friend, or expert if you're struggling with dark thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and ring the bell to stay updated. Wishing you all the best, and keep reflecting wisely out there. You know, taking care of your mental health is just as crucial as maintaining your physical well-being. It's easy to neglect or sweep those emotional struggles under the rug, but ignoring the issue won't make it go away. In fact, it often makes things worse in the long run. I get that opening up about your inner demons can feel incredibly daunting. Our society still has this ridiculous stigma around mental health issues. But here's the thing. We all have our battles to fight, our demons to slay. You're not alone in this, I promise. If you're feeling trapped in a cycle of negativity, rumination, or just an overall funk, don't be afraid to ask for help. Talking to a counselor, joining a support group, or even just confiding in a trusted friend can be so therapeutic. Sometimes, just getting those feelings off your chest and into the open can provide immense relief. And don't buy into the idea that therapy or counseling is only for folks dealing with severe mental illnesses. We could all benefit from an outside perspective and tools to better manage life's inevitable stresses and emotional challenges. It's about being proactive with your well-being. At the end of the day, you've got to be your own advocate when it comes to your mental health. Only you know what's really going on inside that brilliant mind of yours. 
If something feels off, trust your gut and don't hesitate to speak up. Your mental well-being is precious. Prioritize it accordingly. So keep an eye out for those red flags we discussed. And don't hesitate to take action if you need support. You've got this. I'm rooting for each and every one of you on your journey toward living your best life possible.